So, Sheko scored in his first derby since 2016. Mm. But here's the thing that I have an issue with this. And I, I do think he's a fantastic player by every stretch of the imagination. He's been a wonderful servant to Roma. But this is a team that had 22 shots on goal, of which I think only three or something were on target. They create so many opportunities. They remind me of Napoli mm. um, under Sari, under Ancelotti. But there is just not... There isn't that man who's just knocking them all in, you know? Well, they've needed another striker. They've needed an alternative to Dzeko. And Kalinish is obviously not Forever. It. Yeah, and um, Dzeko's very and good at linking up he's the play, but is he that finisher? Older. Mm. Like, he's not getting younger. I yeah. mean, none of us are, but, like, it's a trite thing to say, but he is, you know, he, he's past his peak. He can still be good, but he's mm. past his peak. So you're getting declining returns at this point. And, yes, they, sh- they do need another, because they have such a wealth of behind the attack yes, options. So really I, I agree do. with you. He's, yeah. he, you would say he was past his peak, but I think he looks a better player now I, than I the player that, that left too. Manchester City. I agree. When, yes. he, when I saw him at Manchester City, I used to think, but, he but can't from run, he slow. Yeah. From an intellect point yeah. of view, like now I feel like he's the kind of guy that you would want that sews everything together yes. in the final He often third. comes deep and he switches the play out to the wide, but he has to have people running beyond him. Yeah. You know, that's why they've got wide players. That, Zaniolo's perfect because Zaniolo start running with and without the ball beyond him. Cliver should be doing that from the other side. Pellegrini's starting to do that. So that's if you're going to play with Dzeko as you centre forward, you've got to get crosses into the box. That's how he's going to score most of his goals, you know, whether it be yeah, finding a better space. Than, and, oh, yeah, I'll still miss a few, but mm. you've still got to get balls into it. But you've got to get players running beyond him as well. So do they need, what kind of forward would you buy I would have them? thought, it's not, it's not going to happen this January. No. So I would have no. thought that's a summer idea and it should be someone young. And... You know, they did try and do that with Patrick Schick. It just didn't work. Mm. So it's just about identifying the player. And, you know, you can go in different directions with that. You can look for the next sort of Jekko mould player and, mm. and try and get someone who can be a straight alternate. Or you can adapt and, and do something different. There, there hasn't been too many young Italians. I mean, we talked about... I suppose you don't. Uh, Yes, I mean he's he's one that may come to the fore. He's but got a lot to show still. Yeah, I still thought Moise Keane would have done yeah. something special I mean, for them. Look, Moise Keane could come mm. back to to Italy. That's not that's not mm. off the table. He um, needs to. I think he needs to come back to Italy. Yeah, he needs to come back because I don't think it's going to quite work for him at Everton unless Ancelotti can get the best out of him. It doesn't but look like it's going to happen. And, but Calvert Lewin, who I don't think is a wonderful player, but Calvert Lewin is the idol of the fans at the moment. He's going to be the number one centre forward and it's going to make Moise Keane... Um, even more, even like more, yeah. destined to, I guess, You know, if, if you're playing second fiddle to Calvert-Lewin, you, you've got one or two They problems. should have probably maybe gone for Patrick Cotrone rather than Fiorentino. No, 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 no. is no, no. rubbish. I'm sorry. Oh. Do you know what? <laughs> no, no, like, no, no. Sorry, <laughs> Mina. <laughs> okay, rubbish so that is was definitely a bad it. idea. Rubbish then. is <laughs> overstating it, but like we were having this conversation, me and Stuart, about attackers and before the game, before the podcast, and Cotrone... Actually, Stuart, I think you said it best. Like, if you were trying to isolate what his best trait is, it's his hard work. Hard and if work. that's the best he, you can say about he's him, a he's not good He's enough. a scuttling centre forward who will chase things like and he'll run and he'll hassle and he'll look like he's really putting a good shift in. He'll get other players to do the same. But has he got any one technical quality that's going to make him a top-class player? No. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.